Hey guys, welcome back to Swatch Strike, and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson palette, the Tiny Marbles. This palette is gorgeous. At first, I didn't want it because I thought it was super basic and I didn't need it, but then I saw Mel Thompson's re like uh, review video and then like her first eyeshadow look, and it's kind of something similar to what I have right now. I took heavy inspiration from her look because that's what literally made me want this palette and um i'm really happy that i did get it this look was super easy to do and sydney grace's formula is amazing like anything that comes out of sydney grace is going to be just great quality great blendability great pigmentation the shimmers are going to be so bright and shiny and i'm really happy to have this this came super fast also like i ordered this on launch date the friday that it came out and i got it today which is tuesday so that was literally so quick um super impressed with that shipping like and really really happy to have this um yeah, so if you guys want to see this eye look, just keep on watching. I did change my shirt because I had a yellow shirt and I felt like it was washing out the eyes. Like the main focus was like my bright yellow shirt. So I did end up switching it to just a white t-shirt later. But the entire tutorial is going to be me with the yellow shirt sadly. But yeah. So for the transition shade, we're going to go ahead and use Tree Hopper. And we're just going to pack this all in the crease. And then you're going to start blending upward. Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and grab the same color tree hopper. We're going to put that on the bottom just so it can set the concealer and all of that on the under eye. Now we're going to go ahead and go into walking stick, which is a little bit deeper brown, and we're going to put that on the outer edge as well as in the crease but we're not going to bring it up too too high and now we're going to go into spider which is the deepest matte in this palette and we're going to go ahead and deepen out the outer corner smoke this out all right and now we're gonna go ahead and grab mantis which is the green and this is a nice green and I'm not using any like um, concealer to cut the crease or anything I'm just putting this green on After that is done, we're going to go ahead and grab a spider again on the same brush we had earlier and deepen it up a little bit more and then just drag it in. And then we're going to grab a flat brush so we can grab a web, which is what I have on my brow bone and in my inner corner. So we're just going to put this in the inner corner. There's no glitter glue or I'm not wetting my brush. It's just how the shadow works. And we're going to go ahead and put some up here. Okay. 
Now for the bottom lash line, we're going to grab some Spider, which is the deepest matte again. And then we're going to grab the green, which is Mantis, and put some in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara and a lipstick and be right back. Alright, so I am back and what I think on the palette is that the palette is amazing. I think the mattes blend super nicely. The mattes all feel creamy. I have swatched the palette now. All the mattes feel creamy except uh, Joby. It feels a little bit dry when you do um, swatch it, but I don't think that's something big. All the shimmers though are super creamy and so shiny and beautiful. I'll put swatches that I've done on the, of this palette up here, but super impressed so far with the palette and I'm so excited to use more of the shades, precisely like the purples in here. I'm really excited to use the purples. And yeah, I'm going to be using this palette obviously more because this is not a review, but so far so good. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.